It's been excellent. We've had 67 countries here represented. We've had uh, about 540 uh, delegates, which itself is fantastic, which I, I suppose confirms the global extent of the problem. So the presentations then have reaffirmed uh, our, worst, our worst fears. It's a multi-billion currency, we'll say fraud, uh, involved and it requires uh, a global response and we know that no single agency can deal with the response itself. It requires certainly a partnership approach and it is very closely associated with organised crime so uh, it behoves us all to work together including with law enforcement, uh, district attorneys throughout the world. We've had different models present to us from around the world and if we can follow and engage I think there's lessons for the whole lot of us, uh, certainly one of our ones on the shadow economy. When you look at jobs, the impact, to say uh, some of the things we know for certain is it's not victimless. Uh, we do have innocent people going out buying uh, fake products, they like to have a fake product, but they don't understand uh, the repercussions or the impact on society generally and communities. So the educational programs that we have the training programs we have and then the enforcement programs. So if we can confirm or at least maybe promote to the public that it's not victimless, there are huge health and safety issues. Look across the pharmaceutical industry, you know, and the smoking industry, uh, the cigarette industry. It's just so dangerous what people are getting inside in some of those products, uh, the perfume industry. Look right across the spectrum of it. There's a huge loss to the exchequer. It affects jobs. And uh, as I said, it feeds organised crime and we as law enforcement in partnership with all those responsible companies and the brand holders who wish to protect their rights, well, we require to work together to deal with this. So uh, what I would say about underwriter laboratories and with Interpol is uh, I commend them for keeping it to the top of the international agenda and the conferences are so very important to keep this promoted and keep it to the top of the agenda.